Hey, this is Joe Gilder from HomestudioCorner.com. Going to kick off a new batch of videos by talking about the arrange window in Studio One. I'm going to dive into each section a little more in depth in other videos, but just real quickly give you an overview uh, of what this is. Now, it looks like the arrange or edit window in other popular platforms. So a lot of that you will be familiar with. But real quickly, just to kind of walk through, you've got your tracks over here. So they're listed out. You can click on them, and uh, anytime you want, if you want to mix something, you can just double click on the track. It'll pop up and be highlighted. You see this little light colored highlight? Isn't that cool? And it'll bring that up to you. So, right now, we're looking at the kick drum. If we clicked on a track down here, double clicked on this background vocal track, boom, it's highlighted and brought up for us, which is kind of cool. A lot of people like in Pro Tools, for example, like to mix in this window which allows them to do everything and kind of see what's going on on the timeline and adjust things and volumes and things as you go. Now, when you zoom in a little bit, you can start to see a little bit more information. The main thing being you've got your track names, all the buttons you need to make it mono or solo, uh, to mute, solo, record, enable, or listen to the input of, of that track, the actual physical input on your interface. Uh, and then the big one here, this is the fader, which is super easy to use. You can just click around clicking it and drag or just click where you want it to go and get it in the spot that you need uh, which is just great for quick mixing on the fly trying to get things um, do do your rough mixes your static mixes and all that you can do almost all of that without opening the mix window now there are reasons to use the mix window and I'll get into that but uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do in this arrange window quick tour uh, up here this has to do with automation and how to set that up. These buttons are actually really cool, and I'll show you those in a little bit. These have to do with different views where you want to see extra information. Right now, this is kind of the overall, as minimal as it gets. You can add a lot more to it, uh, and I'll show you that in future videos as well. Up here are all your different tools. The mouse can do many, many things, and I don't use all of them. I'll show you the ones I do use. This button's great. This is pretty cool section here. Here's your typical stuff. We're talking about the grid. Now, is it based on bars is it based on seconds all that fun stuff um a couple of other extra goodies here we'll get to all these we've talked about this before if we want to flip over to a project or another song we can have multiple songs open at once that's pretty cool down here we've got a uh, kind of a window over here that we can open up and can show us lots of stuff we'll get into that uh, typical metronome signature time signature tempo settings right here we can click that on and off to go in and out of mono for listening transport controls along the bottom, and some helpful information down here as well. So I'm going to go into lots of stuff of how I use the arrange window, how I set it up, uh, and how I, different shortcuts and things that I use to get the most out of it. But that'll be in future videos. Thanks for watching.